Hey everyone, it's John at Evolve. Hey, we wanted to talk about parts today, and uh, as many of you know, there's lots of uh, perceived and real problems with uh, parts for a lot of these new electric vehicle manufacturers. And so, whereas you can get parts for the, the big three manufacturer and lots of others in just a few days, in many cases it takes a, a hell of a lot longer to get parts for some of these. So that can create a real challenge with cycle time uh, and um, keeping repairs on track and on time, especially when in the collision repair um, side of things, you're limited in the number of rental days that you have on your insurance policy. So a lot of times customers wind up with an out-of-pocket expense for rental. Uh, our cycle time is incredibly low. I think the industry averages 30, 40 days, something like that for uh, these digital EVs, whereas ours is around 10 or so. And the reason we can do that is because of what we're looking at here, and it's, it's uh, parts inventories. And so um, you can see here we keep a lot of stuff in stock. And uh, in order to uh, solve some of these parts problems, so just imagine that it takes uh, 30 days to get parts, for example. Um, if you don't get all the parts right up front and you find something somewhere downstream, you can keep adding 30 days to the repair. And that really contributes to a lot of the excess lead time for uh, collision repair on, um, on electric vehicles. So in order to solve that problem, we've had to go to the expense of trying to stock some of the parts that we may need. Now, a lot of what we're looking at is parts that have been ordered for cars that are on their way in here and we've received. But there's also a lot of stuff we're looking at here that we actually keep in stock for those rare occasions. And so we may find uh, things like liftgate struts um, that we can order and keep in stock, including powered ones, uh, front covers, um, belt moldings, um, hinges. Uh, so lots of other things here. And we'll continue down the aisle here, and we can see Lots of pieces here to vehicles. In some cases, if we have a, an old broken part off of a vehicle, we may keep some of these things. Uh, in case of an emergency, you never know when a part's going to go uh, sideways from the manufacturer for uh, weeks or months. And it's nice to have a, the option to have a used part available. In many cases, some of these used parts will be able to put on a customer's car temporarily to get them back on the road or to keep them on the road before their car goes down. So sort of loaner parts that we can uh, put on a vehicle. Yeah, they may have a nick or a scratch or some damage, but at least it keeps the vehicle on the road. Let's take a look. And we'll keep looking here. And as you can see, still lots and lots of parts we keep in inventory to be able to get your car back to you super fast here. Pretty rare in the industry that you'd see anybody stock this many parts. but. Honestly, it's really the only way we've found so far to solve the problem uh, with parts lead times in digital EV repair. So there's a quick peek at our parts inventories and how we solve some of the cycle time problems that evolve. If you need anything on your electric vehicle, please reach out. We're glad to help. And if you have any questions about parts in general and parts lead times and how to solve any of those problems, as always, reach out to us. You can contact us at contactus at evolve-auto.com. Thanks for watching the YouTube channel.